Hi friends, it's Brayden from the LMC, but technically not from the LMC, I'm from my house. But I'm going to make a video today to show you some very cool things that Microsoft Translator can do, and apparently my dog Bonnie wants to be in the video. Come here, Bon Bon! We're going to show you guys how to use Microsoft Translator for two very cool things. Number one, to subtitle your PowerPoint presentation. And, no, and number two, to translate that presentation for yourself or for other people. So I'm going to show you all how that works, but first I'm going to set Bonnie down. All right, this is pretty cool. So this is my sample PowerPoint. This PowerPoint is just a simple thing I threw together this morning to show you how the subtitles work. Um, as you can see, the subtitles are appearing across the top. They're not perfect, but they are pretty accurate. They are not done by another person. They are not done after the fact. These are happening while I'm talking. They are completely done through machine learning uh, through a program that Microsoft has, which is pretty handy. Just a second, let me skip my slide forward. So, Obviously, if you're using this tool, you may want to change the configurations on some of your slides so that nothing is occluded by the subtitles. Um, you can also, in the settings, decide if you want them at the top or the bottom. I went for the top, as you can see. Uh, but here is, for example, my content page of my PowerPoint. It's got words. It's got a picture. It's all there. The idea with these live captions is to share your information in your PowerPoint, as well as a live subtitling. Like I said, this service, when it's done by a live person, is very expensive because you are paying a trained professional to recreate what you are saying live. They type it while you say it. Microsoft's machine learning version does a pretty great job, but it's totally, totally free. Uh, the biggest catch is that it is currently only available on Windows machines, uh, not on Macs. So, sorry those of you who are Apple users, you can't use this product, but Microsoft users can. So now I'm going to show you how it's all set up and how to make it work, and the coolest feature, which is live translation of these subtitles. So what the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to Google Presentation Translator for PowerPoint. That is where you'll need to go to install and download the app. I found that the initial installation didn't work for me, so what I needed to do was do some troubleshooting, what to do if the download fails, follow these instructions, and I found out I needed to download the 32-bit version rather than the 64-bit version, but I was able to do that, get it installed. It took two or three minutes to completely install, and then when I restarted PowerPoint, I had, at the top, in the slideshow settings right here, I have Captions and Subtitles and Microsoft Translator. Here is where you can set up subtitle settings. As you can see here, you'll set up the spoken language that you want to do, these are the languages that are 100% supported, Chinese, English, uh, French, German, Italian, and Spanish. These are the ones that they're working on, that they're getting better at, things like Russian, Korean, Japanese, Hindi, Arabic. Um, and then the subtitles, as you can see, there are a lot of options, because not only can it subtitle what you are saying exactly, it can also translate that for you as you're doing it. Here's where you can decide where you want it, if you want it on the top or the bottom, if you want it below or above the slide. I was doing the top overlay in mine, which is why it was over the top of the slide, um, because I had moved my stuff downward, but you can decide how you want to do it there. And then you'll hit Start Subtitles. I'm going to be speaking in English. I want to display the subtitles in English. I click that so it gets better every single time I do it at translating me. I hit next, and now it starts my PowerPoint for me. It has this new slide at the beginning. This slide is so that participants can also pull up your captions on their devices, whether it's a computer or a phone, they can pull up and have live translation of your 
presentation on their devices. I will show you how that works in a minute, uh, but I wanted to show basically how you set it up as a presenter first. So as you can see, now I move on. I do my PowerPoint again. It's the same PowerPoint you all saw before, but now you can see it's different subtitles. It's all unconnected from the uh, content in the slides. It's whatever I'm saying. So that's how I set it up. Um, as you can see, it's still going down here. Um, it's got me muted, but the important thing is when I stop it, I can also save a transcript. It will save it as a .text file. I'll save it here to my computer. And now you can see, here are my subtitles from everything that I said before. So this, you can get a transcript of your presentation as well, which you can use to you know, offer a, a text version to people who can't hear it, or you can use it for other purposes as well. It's a very, very cool feature. All right, I'm gonna show you another feature that it can also do. Um, I'm gonna start the subtitles. This time I'm going to speak Spanish, but I'm going to have the subtitles appear in English so you can see how the translation happens automatically. So let's get this started. I'm gonna hit skip so it goes faster. Tal como la última vez, aquí aparece un nuevo slide que tiene que ver con cómo traducirlo para la gente. So, voy a compartir mi PowerPoint con todas las personas que están mirando este video y hablando de X cosa o otras cosas. Aquí está mi uh, fichero con uh, la foto, con la información, todas las cosas que quiero que aparezcan. Ahí están. Aquí está el nuevo. Hay cosas que dice ahí, bla, 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 bla. Todo funciona como debe funcionar. Como se puede ver, hace una traducción más o menos correcta a la vez mientras que estoy hablando. Now I'm going to try to do something that's maybe a little complicated, but it's got a lot of moving pieces to do it all by myself right here, but I'm going to try anyway. So what I'm going to do is I am going to start my PowerPoint on my screen and then pull it up in my phone, hopefully, so that you can see how the, on, the, how the live translation works for a user who is not the person recording. So if my beautiful colleagues at the LMC would stop texting me, I could do this a whole lot easier. So I am going to start recording. I'm going to open up Firefox. I'm going to go to translate.it. Told you, my wonderful LMC coworkers going to town. A C K R. Oh. So. It opens up, takes a second. My internet is not fast and I've got 8 billion things going on all at once. Please, my friends, stop. And I want it translated into Spanish. So, I am speaking in English. My PowerPoint is currently subtitling itself in English. But the version that is pulled up in my phone is the machine learning translation from English to Spanish. As you can see, it's doing its thing. It's translating it automatically. It's telling me the presenter is speaking in English and that this is doing its translation on the fly. This is really cool for accessibility purposes. It makes it very simple for you to share your research or your talk or your reading with multiple people in multiple languages, as long as you have it set up on your computer and your uh, attendees can pull up these translated versions on their phone. It's very cool.
so that's how it works. It's really cool. It's got a lot of really cool features to it. If you want to try implementing it, give it a try. If you have any questions about it, obviously feel free to reach out to me or the other LMC staff. Uh, I'm the person who's kind of played around with it the most, so just shoot me an email and I'd be happy to help. But I hope that you find cool ways to use it in the future moving forward and let me know what you're doing with it.